Where has our society gone? We came from an unshakable foundation, from bravery and honor, not only to one's country, but to one's family and society. We once valued personal liberty and freedom like no other nation. In 244 years, we went from the birth of a small idea to the most powerful and accepting nation in existence. Where has our society gone? April 19th, 1775. The Revolutionary War officially begins with the Battles of Lexington and Concord. On July 2nd, 1776, Congress voted to declare independence from Great Britain. Two days later, the Declaration of Independence was finalized. On August 2nd, 1776, 56 men signed their death warrants by placing their names on this sacred document, declaring American independence from England and her tyrannical king. September 3rd, 1783, the Treaty of Paris was signed, ending the Revolutionary War, recognizing the United States as a sovereign nation. 25,000 men, women, and children perished for the mere thought of independence and liberty. September 17, 1787, delegates approved the Constitution and sent it off to the Continental Congress. September 28, 1787, the Continental Congress sends the Constitution to the states for ratification. Our Constitution remains resolute. Her meaning does not change. Her resolve never wavers. October 27, 1787. The first of many essays were published in New York. These came to be known as the Federalist Papers. December 15, 1791. Three quarters of the United States had ratified the Ten Bill of Rights limiting government and placing value on the liberty of the individual. June 18, 1812. The United States declares war on Britain as America rallied to take on the greatest naval force in the world. August 24, 1814. The British set fire to Washington, D.C. as a symbolic blow to our patriotic spirit. American patriots never waver. We never bow to oppression. December 24, 1814. The United States and Britain signed the Treaty of Ghent, ending the War of 1812. 15,000 Americans perished for our continued freedom. 1861, Republicans could stand for slavery no longer, so begins the Civil War, brother against brother and father against son. 1863, Republican President Abraham Lincoln signs the Emancipation Proclamation. And upon this act, sincerely believed to be an act of justice, warranted by the Constitution, upon military necessity, I invoke the considerate judgment of mankind and the gracious favor of Almighty God. July 1st, 1863. The Battle of Gettysburg begins marking the bloodiest day in the American Civil War. These dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. April 9th, 1865. The Confederate States surrender at Appomattox Courthouse, ending the Civil War. 620,000 Americans perished for the preservation of these United States and to end the atrocities of slavery. July 28, 1914. World War I begins as the Archduke Franz Ferdinand is assassinated and the Ottoman Empire declares war on Bosnia. April 6, 1917. The United States enters World War I as thousands of Americans have been murdered due to unrestricted submarine warfare. September 1st, 1939, Germany invades Poland, marking the beginning of the Second World War. December 7th, 1941, the day that lives in infamy as the Japanese Imperial forces attacked Pearl Harbor, forcing America into the Second World War. June 6th, 
June 6, 1944, 156,000 Allied troops invaded the beaches at Normandy. 75,000 were American patriots, their fathers and grandfathers. Between World War I and World War II, the United States lost an estimated 550,000 Americans, freeing not only this great nation, but the world from the grips of a genocide. Between the Korean War and the Vietnam War, an estimated 95,000 Americans perished for the preservation of liberty. The Gulf War and the War on Terror today, roughly 8,000 have given their lives for the preservation of liberty. We accept the slaughter of children at the behest of convenience. The fathers of our children are stolen by a government that says we are the weakness. We eviscerate from our children what our fathers and forefathers stood. We have accepted wrong as right, and this must be understood, that the evils of old are now the righteous anew, as we are forced to perpetuate this political correctness point of view. We have allowed our children to be brainwashed with Marxist ideas, the ideas which my grandfather fought and opposed in North Korea. We have normalized government theft, taking from one pocket to another, at the behest of a government that says it is okay to steal from one's own brother. Where has our constitution, our bill of rights gone, of a system that thinks of you as nothing but a pawn? Right now, our God-given rights hold back the tyrannical arm. You don't even know it, but they're being withdrawn. We have lost the foundations of truth, for truth is a steadfast and unwavering fact. But that's not what we tell our youth. We say that truth and fact have no impact. Where has the pride of our nation gone? The nation that brings acceptance to all. We politicize the colors that are still drawn to Lady Liberty who once stood tall. We have become a nation without a soul. One where a Democrat Marxist political group lies while others try to make us whole. Marxism segregates us, divides us, pits us against one another. It takes from us our individuality. It makes us turn against our brother. We used to be one nation under God, indivisible with liberty. But you'll never hear that. We've let others rewrite our true history. It's time to take back our values of old, pay heed to the true history we were told. It's time to stand up to the corruption of identity politics for votes. It's time we stand and fight for the right to life and let everyone take note that we are in the battle for this nation's soul. So take back what political parties have stole. We must fight today to take back our precious liberty, for such a task was never our children's responsibility. America stand up and fight against the Marxism that divides us. Take a stand and lay waste to the identity politics and discuss it how Democrat socialist dictators brought us to this day. Forward on we fight for truth and justice. This is the way. For we can never repay the precious blood shed for America today. Together as one we must rise up, take our banner, and fight on in America's name.